Virgin Galactic reopens for space flights. Virgin Galactic's Unity spaceplane has been authorized to fly again. The vehicle was suspended as the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration investigated the British entrepreneur's July trip. Unity temporarily strayed beyond its designated airspace. Virgin Galactic has made the necessary adjustments to its operations, according to the FAA. A last excursion for the Italian Air Force is planned for this year before entering into lengthy maintenance and upgrading. Fair paying customers should be able to take advantage of regular flights starting next year. Sir Richard's the 11th of July flight was still a test mission. The industrialist flew his rocket aircraft 86 kilometers, 53 miles, over the New Mexico desert, which the U.S. government considers in space. The FAA launched a mishap inquiry after the New Yorker reported on the trip. The magazine characterized New Mexico spaceport as flying beyond the plane's restricted zone. Galactic also neglected to notify the FAA about the incident. Unexpected strong winds during Unity's ascension drove the rocket-powered spacecraft slightly off track, the firm claimed. However, Galactic emphasized that no one was ever in danger, aboard or on land. The FAA released a statement on Wednesday clearing Unity to fly again, saying, The Virgin Galactic, Unity, aircraft strayed from its allocated area during its descent from orbit, according to the inquiry. The FAA also determined Virgin Galactic neglected to notify them of the deviation. While the inquiry was underway, Virgin Galactic was unable to undertake flying operations. To keep the public safe, the FAA ordered Virgin Galactic to alter its communication methods with the agency. It has completed the necessary modifications and may resume flying operations. When it comes to future requests, Galactic says it will seek more restricted airspace, and it's also improving the way it notifies the FAA's air traffic control about its missions in real time. The business is progressively able to fly space travelers on a regular basis. Seats costing $200,000 to $250,000 were sold in August for £450,000 each, after 600 people put down deposits years earlier.